G'day everyone, and welcome to the fifth Agony Anth, my collaboration with the Charles Darwin University Law Student Society. You can ask any questions you might have about the law or about studying law, and I'll have a crack at answering it. This time, one of our CDU students has asked, how can I apply for a review of my grade without irritating the lecturer? This is a really good question. Theoretically, of course, you should never have to need to worry about irritating the lecturer. You should be able to seek a review of any grade you like, and the lecturing staff should have to cop it on the chin. But in reality, education and marking are a human business. When you ask for a remark, you're implicitly suggesting that the lecturer or whoever else marked your paper hasn't done it right. And if you're going to run into that lecturer again, or if you're going to submit other things in that same subject, it is kind of sensible to make sure you're not shooting yourself in the foot. The first thing that I would say about reviews of grades is that in the law, just as in all of the other humanities, grading is always going to be at least partly subjective. There is no correct grade. There's always the chance that a paper that you've written might have gotten a better mark from some other marker. That's just the way it is. But having marked hundreds upon hundreds of papers myself, I can tell you that examiners do make a big effort to try to make sure their grades are appropriate with the intention of providing a grade that would be within a few marks of the grade that any other examiner would give for the same paper. So you've received a grade and you're not happy. What should you do? First and foremost, have a close look at the assignment before you decide for certain to seek a remark. Quite often, students are upset by grades because they've put in a massive amount of effort and they feel that their effort hasn't been rewarded by the grade they've received. In that case, the response is emotional rather than logical. The unfortunate reality is that sometimes a student might put an awful lot of effort into an answer which is just plain wrong. Their efforts might have been misguided or there might be some underlying lack of knowledge. The mark reflects the product that you have produced, not necessarily the effort that you've put in. That's a hard reality, but it's also a hard reality of actual legal practice. Sometimes you can put in a massive amount of effort into a matter for your client and still lose at the end of the day. So you need to try to look at your assignment with as much emotional detachment as you can. I know that's hard. Have a look at the marking rubric and see whether the marking makes it clear where you've lost your points. Then go back and have another look at the paper. See if you can find a way that the grade might be right, even if you don't agree with it. Second, have a look at the feedback. I know that a lot of markers take the same approach that I do of providing more feedback, the worse the grade is. If I'm giving someone a high distinction, I don't need to give them a gazillion comments telling them how great they are. But if I'm going to give someone a fail grade, I'll give them a lot of comments to try to help them to see where they've gone wrong. Try to read the comments as being the lecturer's attempt to assist you to grow academically. Try not to read the comments as being personal criticisms or attacks. Ask yourself, what can I learn from each item of feedback? After you've done these things, you might decide not to go ahead and ask for a remark at all. But let's say you have done these things and you're still convinced that something has gone wrong. It does happen where an examiner might misread something or they might accidentally skip a page. If you're convinced, the first thing to do before asking for a remark would be to contact the lecturer or course coordinator. I'd suggest by email. This should not be an email that you write when you're upset or angry. This email is going to be an exercise in advocacy. You do want to become a lawyer after all. What the email should say in your own words is that you were somewhat surprised and disappointed by the grade, that you've read the feedback and looked at the rubric, but you're still struggling to understand how your work resulted in this grade. Ask if you can obtain further feedback. Be specific. Don't just say, I'm unhappy with my grade and I want further feedback. Say something like, in the feedback, the marker indicated that I did not sufficiently consider the Australian consumer law. However, almost 
all of page four of my assignment relates to the Australian Consumer Law. And I've looked at the Australian Consumer Law again following the feedback, and I'm really still not sure what I've missed. Can I please get some feedback as to what aspects I should have covered? If you send an email like this, written well, there's absolutely no reason for any reasonable lecturer to feel upset. They can then go to your assignment and have a look, bearing in mind the issues that you've raised. If you have a point, the lecturer is quite likely to see that point, and you may in fact find that the mark gets amended without you needing to engage in any form of formal process. If the mark doesn't get changed, you should at least get additional feedback which means that you'll be in the most knowledgeable position possible before you decide for certain whether to seek a review. If you've got all that material together and you're still completely convinced that the mark is not an accurate representation of the work, then it might be time to make a formal application for a remark. Every university has a slightly different formal process, but in almost all cases, the process means that the essay will be re-examined by somebody different to the person who marked it the first time. When you do submit for a remark, I would suggest that you email the lecturer at the same time. Thank them for the feedback that they've provided and tell them that you'd still like to have the essay regraded and that you've commenced the formal process. Tell them outright that this is not intended as a slur upon the marker, but that you really do want to be sure that the mark properly reflects your work. If you go through all of that process, the chances are that your mark will be corrected before you get to the formal process, or that you'll decide on reflection that the mark is disappointing but accurate. And if you do get to the formal process, you've improved your chances of success because you've genuinely thought hard about the reasons that you've asked for a regrade. One final thing on this issue. I've never minded students who got narrow fails rolling the dice to try to get a passing grade the second time round. I completely understand. I've generally had less time for students who were, say, one mark short of a high distinction and who come back to me arguing that on the rubric they should get an additional half mark for this and an additional half mark for that. In reality, rubrics only get you halfway there. There's still an overall assessment that must be made by the lecturer to confirm that the paper really is in the right band. Generally speaking, if a student gets a mark from me that's a credit grade one short of a distinction, what that means is that I've thought long and hard about whether this is a credit essay or a distinction essay, and I've decided that it's a very good credit essay that doesn't quite make the grade for a distinction. Badgering an examiner for an additional mark or two in those circumstances is likely to be considered much less generously than a student who is genuinely confused as to why they've received the mark that they've received. I hope all of that helps you. I hope you never need to use it because I hope that all of your efforts are rewarded with great marks. Please keep the questions coming. And the more interesting the questions are, the more interesting my answers can be. Look forward to seeing you again soon.